Congratulations! Your bid has been selected for a CDOT construction project. You will now need to complete a utilization plan. Upon selection, you will receive an email notification to complete the utilization plan for your CDOT project. You must complete and submit your utilization plan for review within five calendar days of receiving this notification. A utilization plan is a complete list of all DBE certified firms that a prime contractor has committed to use for a project. Utilization plans allow CDOT to ensure that prime contractors make sufficient commitments to meet the advertised DBE goals and ensure that contracted, committed, certified businesses perform contracted work. To access your utilization plan, you will begin by logging into the B2G Now system via the CDOT Business Management System page at contracts.codot.gov. You can find your assigned utilization plans in their designated section in your dashboard on your B2G Now homepage. You will see both current and previous plans listed with their corresponding statuses. Plans requiring action on your part will be shown in red type. To access the list of utilization plans corresponding to each status, click the status description or the underlined number to the right of the status. Your utilization plan list will include information for identifying each plan. To complete a plan, select Open to the left of the desired entry. Once you've selected your utilization plan, you will be taken to that plan's page. The first section on this page will be a summary of the utilization plan details. Be sure to review this information for important details including the name of the proposal, the current status of this utilization plan, and the due date and time that the utilization plan must be submitted. Also, be sure to verify that the correct assigned contact person is selected from the drop-down menu to ensure prompt alerts of required action from CDOT. This is also where you will find any additional special instructions that may apply to completing your utilization plan. After reviewing this information, you can proceed to Step 1 of the utilization plan. Step 1 of the utilization plan is where you will provide the details of your bid. First, click the Fill in Utilization Plan Details button. Next you will enter your bid amount. You can also attach any files or documents you may wish to include, such as a copy of your proposal documents or other bid-related documents you'd like on record. You are also able to add any comments here, but these are not required. To finish step one, click Save to be taken back to the Utilization Plan page and continue to step two. Step two of the Utilization Plan is where you will provide the information for the subcontractors hired for the project. In this section, you may see a list that will provide the certification types recognized for this project. Here, you will also see a section that provides a summary of the prime contractor's information, including their certification status, their goal inclusion status, the dollar and percentage value of the work to be performed, and the dollar value and percentage counting towards the certification goal. To edit any information in this section, click the Edit link to the right of the prime contractor summary. Here, you can update the prime contractor's information, including the assigned contact person, the business address, any applicable certifications, any applicable work codes, attach any desired files or documents, and add any desired comments. If you, as a prime contractor, will be self-performing any work on the project for DBE commitment consideration, you will still complete a utilization plan for this plan contribution. In this case, you will complete the information pertaining to your organization via the edit link. Here, you will indicate that your work will count towards the project's certified DBE participation goals by selecting the circle beside Yes and selecting DBE from the drop-down menu. Click Save to save this information. If you are contributing all DBE participation to the project, you will leave the remainder of the utilization plan blank and proceed to Step 4, Sign and Submit Utilization Plan. Otherwise, if additional subcontractors will receive DBE credit, continue completing the utilization plan. Once you've verified the prime contractor's information is correct, you will proceed to adding subcontractors to the utilization plan. To add a subcontractor, click the Add Subcontractor button and begin adding subcontractor information. To search the vendor database, click the Get Subcontractor link at the top of the page. Enter your desired search criteria, such as the vendor name, certification type, city or state, or work type, and hit Enter. When you've located your desired vendor, select the Select Vendor link to the right of their information to add them to your utilization plan. On the following page, you will need to select the vendor contact person and business address from the drop-down menus. Then, you will complete all fields marked with a red asterisk. In the Subcontractor Tier field, ensure that you assign the appropriate tier to each subcontractor. A subcontractor's tier relates to which party hired them. 
The proposed amount and percent field is where you will enter the dollar value of the subcontract. In the count toward goal field, you will select whether the subcontractor's participation will count towards the contract's compliance goals, and you will select DBE as the goal. Please remember, if a subcontractor is to be counted toward a goal, they must already possess all qualifying certifications. When completing the work description field, please be as detailed as possible to provide anyone viewing the plan the best idea of this subcontractor's work contribution to the project. In the work codes field, certified firms will see a list of accepted work codes for the project. You must select all applicable work codes for the subcontractor and click assign. The projected start and end date fields are recommended to complete but are not required. Next, you will attach any necessary files or documents. This is where you will attach your completed Form 1415, DBE Commitment Confirmation. Form 1415 is a form CDOT requires to be included with your utilization plan and can be found under the DBE Forms and Resources section of the CDOT Business Center website. This form represents a binding contractual agreement between the prime contractor and CDOT that the prime will use the list of DBE subcontractors for the amount and type of work listed in the utilization plan. This form is not binding between prime contractors and subcontractors. A Form 1415 must be completed by each DBE certified subcontractor that the prime contractor has committed to use over the course of the contract. The total amount indicated is committed to the project of all Form 1415s must meet the overall DBE goal, or the amount must have otherwise received approval through CDOT for any instances that don't meet those requirements. Be aware that contract amounts included on the Form 1415 must also be consistent with the amounts included in the bid submission, which would coincide with the submitted Form 1414. The top half of Form 1415 is to be completed by the prime contractor, and the bottom half will be completed by the DBE certified subcontractor. The Form 1415 will be submitted by the prime contractor as an attachment to the utilization plan. Attach the Form 1415 and any other desired file or document. You can add any desired comments to your utilization plan. Then click Save to save the subcontractor information to the utilization plan. You will repeat this process for each subcontractor committed to work on the project. If a subcontractor you wish to add to a utilization plan does not have an account in B2G Now, the prime contractor will need to reach out to the organization and request that they create a vendor account in B2G Now. Be aware that any firm that is certified will have an account in B2G Now, so they should be able to be found in the system. If a certified subcontractor does not appear to be in the system, reach out to B2G Now support via the contact support link at the top or bottom of the page or reach out to your designated CDOT Regional Compliance Specialist for the project. Step 3 of the utilization plan is only applicable in those instances when a prime contractor is unable to find enough certified contractors to meet their contractual DBE goals. In this case, the prime contractor will need to submit waiver request documentation. To attach any necessary waiver documentation, click the Attach Waiver Files link on the right side of the section. If you are fulfilling this step, this is where you will attach your Form 1416 Good Faith Effort Report. Form 1416 is a form CDOT requires for primes to provide justification for any failure to meet their applicable contract goals and can be found under the DBE Forms and Resources section of the CDOT Business Center website. This form is submitted with the utilization plan only if the prime contractor has not met their DBE goal requirements. For this form, prime contractors must provide documented evidence that shows the efforts made to procure certified subcontractors to meet the contract goals were those reasonably expected of a bidder if actively and aggressively trying to obtain DBE participation to meet contract goals. In reviewing requests for waiver from DBE goal requirements, CDOT considers multiple factors, including but not limited to the number and variety of solicitation attempts made, the diligence done in identifying subcontracting opportunities, and the number and variety of work codes searched when soliciting subcontractors. On this form, you can also provide a brief summary of your requests to waive the contractual DBE goal, but this is optional. When finished, click Save Waiver Details to be taken back to the Utilization Plan page and proceed to Step 4. Step 4 of the Utilization Plan is where you will sign and submit your Utilization Plan for review by CDOT. Click the Submit Utilization Plan button to open the submission form. Complete the required fields indicated by a red asterisk. For your signature, enter your full name and provide your title and company name. 
Also, be sure to check the box to affirm the agreement. Click the Submit Utilization Plan button one more time to submit your utilization plan for review. You will receive an email confirmation that your utilization plan has been submitted. Following review, you will receive a notification via email whether your utilization plan has been accepted or will need to be modified. If you are notified of necessary modifications, you will have two calendar days to complete and submit those modifications. Subcontractors added to your utilization plan will receive a notification that they need to confirm their inclusion on the project. Subcontractors needing to confirm a utilization plan can find them on their dashboard on their B2G Now homepage under the Utilization Plan section. Subcontractors will complete the required information in the bottom portion of the Form 1415 and submit their confirmation for review. If you have any questions about the material covered in this tutorial, please reach out to Katherine Wood, our Civil Rights and Subcontractor Compliance Specialist at lita.wood at state.co.us or call 303-757-9234. We thank you for watching this tutorial on submitting a utilization plan. We look forward to working with you here at CDOT.